I don't know how useful this will be for most of you, but just in case, there's often times where I need a file name out of a list along with some more information so that I can end up putting it in a spreadsheet like this where I've got the file name and I've also, say, got the length of the file. Now what I used to do, and if you just want the file name, that's pretty easy. Just scroll down, select all your files, hold down Shift and select. Shift, right click, say copy as path. And then you can just open up a notepad, paste this in here, do an edit, replace, and then you can get rid of all this stuff here. For example, everything in front of the file name, just copy, paste that in there, replace with nothing, say replace all, do the exact same thing for the end replace all, and then if you want to get rid of these underscores, you can do the exact same thing, except for the underscore we'll put a space and then hit replace all. Now it may put your stuff out of order, you're going to see 59's up here, we can just go ahead and just control X, control V, and then we can copy all this into say a Google spreadsheet, and then there's our names. However, Go ahead and close out of this. What I'd really like is also the length, the video length. So if I go in here and I say length, or if that's not there, you can just go to more, scroll down, you can check on length, hit OK, and now you can see you have the duration of the video file. So to get the name and the duration, I'm going to walk you through that. And I also got this information from this video here, which I'm going to link in my description. And in here, he's got all of the names that you may need that correspond to the column details. But the two things we're going to need is the name and the system media duration. And we're also going to need this free software here. Just file list, you can just download that. That'll give you a zip file. If you right click this, say 7-zip, extract to file list, you'll see it'll give you a folder here. And inside of there is going to be a help file and an exe. So what I can do is in here I got uh, under my C drive there's a test folder and I've got a bunch of videos in here. I'm going to right click this file list.exe and then say copy here. I'm going to copy this file path so control C. I'm going to hit the Windows key on my keyboard. Type in CMD and hit enter. That'll bring up my command window. I'm going to hit CD space paste that's going to change my directory to this directory. And then I'm going to paste file list.exe, which is going to run the executable. It's going to use columns and it's going to give me the name and the system media duration and put that into a text file. So if I copy all this, paste it here, hit enter. And then I go back into here. You're going to see there's an output pav.txt. And if you open that up, it's going to give a text file and it's going to be comma separated values here. So you're going to see a comma in between all these and that's going to be useful for when we go back into our spreadsheet here. So we can go in here to file, import, and copy this path. Or I can just drag this text file right here. And instead of creating a new spreadsheet, I'm just going to say replace data at selected cell, which is an A1. I'm going to say it's comma separated and convert text numbers and dates and formulas, say import data. These two I can get rid of, just highlight them and say delete rows. I'm going to select all these. We'll go ahead and give this a nice medium gray, bold, make these a little bigger. If I open up the name here, and if we go in here and say edit, find and replace, I can do an underscore and we can, re we can replace all this with a space. Say replace all. And then we can get rid of all the .mp4 and replace that with nothing, replace all. So now we have all of our names and the length. And if I want the length column first, I can just drag this over here. I can select this. I can make all these bold. And if I want, I can go all the way down here to the bottom. Let's go ahead and delete all these. If I want to do a total of these, I can say insert function sum. I'm going to select this cell, hold down shift, select this cell, hit enter. And now I have the hours, minutes, and seconds of all these videos and their name in my spreadsheet.